This uh, recording is taking place at the San Antonio Baptist Association in San Antonio, Texas. I'm Charles Price, the Director of Missions at San Antonio Baptist Association. I'm with uh, Roland Lopez, my associate. He is the consultant for Hispanic Ministries and our church starting consultant. This morning we want to tell you our, our story. It's really pretty simple. About uh, four years ago, I had been Director of Missions here for six years, and we began to uh, see that uh, there was a need in our city and there was a response uh, to uh, approach to church that we weren't familiar with. So we began to learn about it, we began to study it, began to uh, meet people who were doing house church that are part of the Baptist family. We began to give them legitimacy. There was one uh, pastor who had retired and we began to a church in his house, and that had expanded to 13 different congregations that he was working with. And so we began to uh, uh, see how we might intentionally see that expand because we'd heard about the uh, movements of God in other parts of the world like China and India, Central America and Africa. We've, we began to say, why couldn't God do it here? With a large Hispanic population, we began to see a great response to simple churches and homes and trailer parks and apartment houses and clubhouses around the city. And uh, I want Dr. Lopez, our uh, church planning consultant, to tell you more about how this work is expanding. Uh, as Dr. Charles Price has, has mentioned that about uh, uh, four years ago, we began to get interested about uh, the house churches and how uh, San Antonio was very conducive uh, in the organic house church. Um, uh, they were responding uh, here in, in San Antonio. We began to identify uh, some house church planters and began to give those uh, individuals legitimacy and they began to connect with the association. Uh, we began to cultivate that relationship and providing uh, some reading for them and um, begin to provide some direction for these um, uh, small congregations. Uh, during the time, for the first, in the first year, we saw at least 32 uh, new uh, congregations being birthed in people's homes. Uh, we began to see that um, uh, these men who were pastors uh, leaders uh, of these congregations uh, in reality were, were pastors of congregations of 15, 16, 18, 30 uh, individuals, people in their congregations. Uh, at this particular time we have uh, four um, or five uh, full-time missionaries that uh, here in San Antonio, here at the San Antonio Baptist Association that uh, are directly involved in planting um, uh, home churches, organic churches here uh, in our city. Uh, we also have a training, uh, a missionary training institute where uh, these men come together, uh, leaders and their wives come together uh, and begin to, uh, to learn about uh, house churches and we learn together. We do have um, three basic requirements, and that is, number one, they have to lead somebody to Christ, be, some, uh, uh, be uh, an effective uh, evangelist. Number two, to disciple someone, uh, they have to introduce us to their uh, disciple. And number three, uh, that they start a home church. And so those are the three main requirements uh, in, for graduation. And so as uh, at this particular time, we have approximately uh, 70 to 75 home churches. Uh, when we gather them together, all together, we can count on about 1,200 uh, as they come together. So we do believe very strongly that um, house church is something that, um, uh, that we definitely, uh, others that need to look into. Uh, we are not just focused upon a house church. We are focused upon uh, traditional churches and whatever their expression might be. However, uh, we do believe that uh, it is through house churches that we are multiplying. 
we're definitely multiplying and developing uh, leadership so that they might be able uh, to uh, disciple others to do the same thing. And so thank you so much for this opportunity uh, to share with you about the house church um, uh, movement here in San Antonio. A at this time, um, Dr. Price uh, will share other thoughts as we conclude this message. One of the critical things that we found in our discussion, our learning about the house church is that the urban uh, setting uh, really does need missionaries on the ground in our large urban areas in the United States. We need these missionaries to guide these churches. This provides some accountability. It also provides a system of training and it keeps uh, the churches healthy. And so we, we hope that uh, we'll see this expand to other metropolitan areas and uh, we're glad to give our testimony about how God's been working Thank you for the opportunity to share our story.